Hey singers, this is a 20 minute anytime body reset using Alexander Technique for you. I like to do this uh, right before my practicing and also in the middle of the day if I have had a day of sitting around at the computer or I've been practicing piano and my back feels kind of sore and out of, out of alignment. So try to do this every day and you can do it multiple times a day as well. So to start, you will need a book about an inch tall to put under your head and come down to semi-supine position, also called active rest position, on the ground. This position has you on your back, the book under your head. You want this to be not so tall that it pushes your head forward, compressing through the front of the throat, but not so short that you also feel your head is tilting back. We want to create length in the front of the neck and as well through the back so you can play around with different book heights. You should have your feet flat on the floor, knees facing up to the ceiling and your head resting on the book. I'll ask you to just take a big breath in, hold and exhale. Notice any movement in your body on this next breath. Is your chest moving? Is your lower back moving? Do you tighten in your legs? We'll take another breath. Don't try to change anything. This is just a noticing tool. See if it changes over time for you and also see if it's different at the end of the session. To start, we allow the neck to be free Allow the neck to be free for the head to come forward and out, to allow the back to lengthen and widen in all directions. Our weight is up and off of the ankles, knees away from the hips, and up and out through the armpits for the widening of the upper part of the back. Another breath. We are going to practice lengthening through our spine while breathing. Most people, as they exhale, they compress their spine. All of the opening that they have on the inhale, they completely let it go so that their natural resting position is one of hunching, slouching, caved in. So their rib cage is weighing down on the abdomen, making it difficult to breathe. You may find that your breaths are quite shallow that your entire torso has to move in an accordion-like fashion to accommodate a deep breath. So we want to work towards lengthening through the spine to always be able to take a gentle and natural inhale. So before you breathe in, measure the length of your spine, the top of your spine, which is the top of your neck. It begins behind your eyes. We will measure the top of the spine to the first vertebrae. The top of the spine to the second vertebrae. Top of the spine to the third vertebrae. Continue breathing as you measure from the top of your spine down to each of your 33 vertebrae, ending at the tailbone. As we move into the space of the thoracic spine, make sure you're very clear about measuring from the top of your spine to the vertebrae that are in your mid back, as this area is not very clear in most of our body maps. We want to build your psychophysical relationship of the back, so take your time through there. Try measuring to the top of the spine to your mid back vertebrae, then breathe in and do that same measurement to the same vertebrae before you breathe out. Move to the next measurement. So if we do this first one together, know the top of your spine behind your eyes, measure to your eighth vertebrae or the one you perceive in between your shoulder blades. Inhale. 
Remeasure top of the spine to that same vertebrae. Exhale. Continue through the rest of your spine. If your eyes are closed, try opening them, keeping a gentle awareness, living behind your eyes. Continue through your measurements. Release any tension in the fingers. Could you do 1% less, 1% less in the toes? The feet are being supported by the ground. They are not gripping the ground. Continue measuring your vertebrae. This next inhale, we're going to measure from the top of our spine to our tailbone, knowing the full length of the spine. Make sure to measure before you breathe in, at the top of the breath while you suspend your breath, and renew this measurement for a third time as you exhale. We'll do it together now. Measure the whole length of your spine. Every vertebrae that you just made clear along the length of the spine is clear in your mind's eye. Breathe in. Suspend your air along the full length of your spine, and as you exhale, keep that measurement in mind. Three more times. Measure, breathe. Suspend and re-measure. Breathe out, continue to see the spine lengthening and widening. Re-measure, breathe. Suspend and re-measure. Breathe out, continuing to see the spine lengthening and widening. And one last time. Measure. Breathe. Suspend, continuing to see the spine's full length. Exhale. Release any tension in your fingers, in your toes. Re-measure the spine. Inhale, remeasure, exhale. Allow the neck to be free. Remeasure your spine from behind the eyes to the tailbone. Inhale, suspend the breath while continuing to see the spine lengthening and widening. Know this measurement clearly in your mind as you exhale. Allow the neck to be free. Remeasure the spine. Inhale. As we suspend, the spine continues to lengthen beyond our head, beyond our tailbone, and widening. Exhale. Let go of actively controlling your breath now. And just allow these directions to prompt changes in you, not forcing any changes. Allow the neck to be free. Neck to be free for the head to come forward and out to allow the back to lengthen and widen in all directions. Weight is up and off of the ankles, knees away from the hips, and up and out through the armpits for the widening of the upper part of the back. Breathe in. Remeasure the spine, continuing to see it lengthening and widening. Exhale. 
through this next 15 minutes here, continue to remeasure the top of your spine, knowing it begins behind your eyes, deeply connected down through your back, every vertebrae to your tailbone. And as you can, as often as you can, come back to that remeasurement before you inhale, at the top of the inhale, and on the exhale. We renew this measurement at all three stages so that no bad habits of contraction and disorganization can creep in. We will move to our feet now. Without moving anything, just notice if your feet are flat on the ground and measure from the tip of your toes through the bottom of the foot to the back of the heel. Know that your foot is as long and as wide as the room and your weight is up and off of your ankles. It does not crash down and compress through the ankles. See the distance between the base of your foot as it is being supported by the ground and measure to the bottom of the inside ankle bone. See those two points moving away from one another. This is our direction. You now have 10 more inches of space between the bottom of your foot and the bottom of the inside of your ankle bone. Keeping this new direction in mind, could you release 1% of the tension in your shins, in your calves, and in your thighs? Remeasure the spine. Inhale. Remeasure, continuing to see the spine lengthen out past the top of your head and down past the base of your tailbone. Exhale. Now measure the bottom of the outside of the foot to the bottom of the outside of the ankle bone. See these two points moving away from each other. The bottom of the outside of the ankle bone drifts up and off of the foot towards the ceiling while the bottom of your foot sinks deeply into the ground, moving in opposition to one another. You now have 10 more inches of space between the bottom of the outside of the ankle bone and the bottom of your foot. Could you release 1% more in your toes? 1% more in your knees? and in your hip sockets. Weight is up and off of the ankles. Knees release away from the hips. Remeasure the spine. Breathe in. Remeasure. Exhale. See your hip sockets now. And if you put your fingers on your hip bones there, notice if one hip is higher than the other. Don't change anything, just something to notice. Place your hands back on your abdomen. Take your mind deep into your hip. See your psoas muscle wrapping around your pelvis and attaching into the lower abdomen. Could you do 1% less there? Breathe in. Remeasure the spine, seeing it lengthening and widening as you exhale, it continues to lengthen and widen. Often when we can get the hip socket to release even 1%, you will want to take a deep breath because the tightening of the hip sockets and the upper thighs reduces the depth of our breathing. It's so much more space for the diaphragm when we can have this released even 1% more. So if you're standing up at work or you sit in a desk a lot, try to remind yourself of the depth of that muscle through the hip socket into the lower abdomen and see the lengthening and width of that muscle. Know that you are so strong that you can rest on that support without tightening. Could you do 1% less in the toes and the tops of the feet? Allow them to take up their full resting length. Weight is up and off of the ankles, knees away from the hips, knowing that our points of support are the bottom of the feet, the pelvis as it meets with the floor and is supported by it, and the back of the shoulder blades releasing down and out into the floor. Return your mind to the hip socket, 
1% less there. Picture the psoas muscle wrapping around into your lower back, into your abdomen. Remeasure the spine. Breathe in. Remeasure, continuing to see it lengthening and widening as big as the room. Exhale. Can you do 1% less in your fingers? Allow the neck to be free. Neck to be free for the head to come forward and out to allow the back to lengthen and widen in all directions. Weight is up and off of the ankles, knees away from the hips, and up and out through the armpits for the widening in the upper part of the back. Take your mind to the front of your chest through your pectoral muscles. See them becoming wider and wider, growing as wide as the room, past the walls. The backs of the shoulder blades have permission to sink into the floor, and as they fall into the floor, they move out away from one another, taking up their full width and full length. Remeasure your spine. Breathe in. Remeasure. Continue to see that lengthening and widening as you exhale. Returning to the front of the thorax. Know the full length horizontally of your collarbone. You can even take your hands and find it on yourself. Trace from the inside of the collarbone where it meets up with the sternum all the way to where it connects on the shoulder girdle. Do this on both sides. Place the hands back on the abdomen. And now know that your collarbone is as wide as the room. The pectorals are moving away from one another allowing your shoulder blades to take up the full width on the ground. Allow the shoulder blades to be supported by the ground, sinking into the ground and away from one another, offering your body the chance to completely disperse itself. Shoulder blades sink deep into the ground and away from one another, allowing the neck to be free. Neck to be free for the head to come forward and out to allow deeply into the back to lengthen and widen in all directions. Remeasure the spine. Breathe in. Continue to see it lengthening and widening as you breathe out. Allow the neck to be free. Know the full length of your spine from behind the eyes to the tailbone. Inhale. Continue to see it lengthening and widening as long as the room, as wide as the room as you exhale. Check in. Can you do 1% less in your shins, in your calves? Weight is up and off of the ankles, knees away from the hips to allow the lower back to widen. We're going to take our hands off of our stomach now and slowly the move them so that your hands are facing one another and your fingertips are facing the ceiling. So we are kind of in a robot pose on the ground. And I want you to see your fingers growing and moving farther and farther away from you towards the ceiling. Palms are facing each other. Fingers are lengthening far away into the ceiling just with our minds. And the closer we perceive our fingers getting to the ceiling, the more in opposition the backs of the shoulder blades have permission to sink into the ground. Know that for every inch you see your fingers moving away from you, your shoulder blades move in the opposite direction into the ground. Just see this in your mind. Send this direction through your arms from the back of the shoulder blades through to the fingers in the ceiling. Allow the neck to be free. 1% less in the shins and the calves. Check in with your thighs. Could you do 1% less there? Again, fingertips are growing and moving farther and farther away from the back of the shoulder blades, which sink into the ground. Measure the spine from the tailbone to behind the eyes. 
Breathe in. Remeasure. Exhale. We will now put our hands down on the ground beside us. Wait. It's not about getting the arms there, but how we get them there. Your habit will make you take them there however your habit normally does. So we're going to inhibit. Continue to see your fingers grow far, far away from you as your shoulders sink into the ground. Move your fingers while you continue to project as if you had laser beams coming out of your fingers. So we are slowly taking our hands toward the ground to place them beside us, but we are more concerned with continuing to see our fingers grow from its deep connection to the shoulder blades. Checking can you do 1% less in your shins, not gripping the ground with your toes, but release them into their full resting length, knees away from the hips to allow the lower back to widen. Send your direction again from the back of the shoulder blades through the entire arm, through the fingertips, out through the ceiling or through the wall, wherever they are in their arc right now. These two points move away from each other in opposition. Allow the neck to be free. Neck to be free for the head to come forward and out to allow the back to lengthen and widen in all directions in relationship to the lower back. As your arms get really close to the ground now, you may feel a slight pull where your upper back wants to pull away from the spine and collapse inwards. Counteract this by continuing to see your shoulder blades sink deep into the ground. The farther they get into the ground, the closer your arms can get to the floor. We are in no rush to get to the floor, but more interested in inhibiting the old habit of grabbing with the scalenes and collapsing through the chest and replacing it with the direction of the fingers moving away from the back of the shoulder blades as the shoulder blades sink into the ground in opposition. Check if you can do 1% less in the hip sockets. Allow the neck to be free. Neck to be free for the head to come forward and out to allow the back to lengthen and widen in all directions. Release in the shins, in the calves, and in the thighs. Measure the top of the spine to the base of the spine. Breathe in. Remeasure and continue that lengthening and widening as you exhale. Now to get up off of the ground, bring one arm beside you so that you're laying on your side in the fetal position and place your palm on the ground. Measure from your touch on the ground to the back of the shoulder blade. Notice that if you wanted to get up right now, what would grab? For most of us, it's the scalenes and through the neck. You can send a small pressure through your hand as if you were going to get up just to test what your habit is and then release. Continue to see your palm sinking into the ground to come back into the back of the shoulder blade. The hand and arm that's under you also see your fingertips moving away from the back of the shoulder blades. Take as much time as you need to inhibit the habit choosing instead to know the back of your shoulder blades and know your neck is releasing. Tell your body that you are making a new choice, that you want your shoulder blade and all through the side body to take that support and push you up. And you will go in your own time when you feel ready, not before. Remeasure the top of the spine to your tailbone. See your hand moving deep into the ground in opposition to the back of the shoulder blade to bring you into a sitting position. When you're in your sitting position, remeasure the spine. Inhale. Remeasure, continue to lengthen and widen as you exhale. As you go about your day, try to continue seeing the length of your spine. And as you breathe, know that it does not collapse, but continues to lengthen and widen. Return to this position of active rest whenever you feel your body needs to realign, is sore from sitting or from standing, or any other reason. Aim to do this work at least once a day.